Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you my honest and unfiltered review with the pros and cons about buying a brand new DR Horton home. If you wanna learn all about this, please stay tuned. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Kenneth and I invite you to reach out if you have any questions or comments. My contact info is linked just below. So pro number one is DR Horton is America's number one home builder when it comes to volume. Um, in 2021, they built 83,000 homes. 22,000 of those homes were built in Texas, where they're headquartered. 18,000 of those homes were built in Florida, my home state. And, um, the company has been around since 1978, and they are a publicly traded Fortune 500 company. And pro number two is speed. Um, they really are the fastest builder. Uh, that means uh, limited wait times. And um, so there's not a ton of delays because of this, because um, they're doing such a good job, you know, controlling their supplies and their labor. So pro number three is options and incentives. Um, they do offer a lot of decisions, even in the seller's market and, and throughout the last year, uh, you know, helping with closing costs, um, rate buy downs, which is important, you know, with trading rates. Um, upgrade options and they offer a variety of floor plans from different sizes anywhere from you know 13 1400 square feet up to well over three to three thousand square feet and in my area of florida they build um models anywhere from starting price in the 200,000s all the way up into the 700,000s. So with this builder you certainly do have a lot of options. So pro number four is what's included. You're going to get most of the appliances and for the most part, your house is going to be move in ready. So for appliances, you're going to get the dishwasher, the stove, um, the microwave, sometimes the range hood, and it's typically just not going to include the refrigerator. You're going to have to go out and buy your own, but there's also, and it's not going to include the washer and dryer, but they certainly have options when it comes to getting a washer and dryer. So your house is really, you're going to be move in ready. What are you going to have to do? Probably get a few appliances, washer and dryer, refrigerator. Um, they do take care of most of the landscaping. So a lot of times they'll include the fence, include the sod and some plants. So let's jump right into the cons. Con number one is they are a big company and there's drawbacks to that when it comes to dealing with red tape, getting approvals, and then in many things, they have unflexible terms. And con number two is there's a large number of complaints. Um, I recommend you do your own research as far as digging a little bit more into those. But one, the fact is just because they are building the most homes, just based on math and numbers, they're going to have the most complaints, most likely. Um, I don't know what the percentages are, but certainly if you go look on Google or any other sites, you are certainly going to see a lot of problems and complaints and issues. Con number three is quality. Um, certainly there's instances um, that I'm aware of where contractors are doing sloppy work. Um, they certainly in our area work year round, seven days a week, rain, snow, whatever's going on. So in this, you know, this really can cause some shortcuts when it comes to how they do their work. Con number four is their warranty can be uh, complicated, confusing. You know, just looking at it, if you scroll through it, you know, it's like 10, 15 pages. And um, typically with a home warranty, you're going to kind of get one year cover to cover. It will cover, you know, everything in the home. And then there's a lot of limited warranties that kick in, you know, at the two, two, three year mark and then out to like the 10 year mark. So the warranties certainly are maybe not the best in the business and certainly can be confusing and then handling warranty issues. So finally, pro number five is their process. So they have a process that not necessarily favors buyers obviously because their business their process is going to favor um, their bottom line and their profits so throughout their process um, you know they don't always encourage or support uh, home inspections which is always recommended when you're getting even a brand new home even with the warranties um, they don't have a process so much with a, a best process for working with your own lender because a lot of their incentives are really only based on working with their in-house lender and then as far as agents um, they don't necessarily always encourage you to work with an agent because it you know it affects their bottom line and from all those things 
the most important thing if you're considering buying a brand new home i would say make sure you still do a home inspection because there's been so many issues come up when people haven't done that secondly um certainly check out their in-house mortgage for their options if you're considering buying a home because it's probably going to save you the most money but i would still you know shop a couple other um, mortgage options and then finally you know working with an agent you know your agent is going to represent you and represent your best interest rather than um, dr horton they're obviously in it to represent and sell more homes and represent their best interests so overall based on the pros and cons you know do i recommend or not recommend dr horton and i would say overall um, my experience has been good working with them but you have to weigh you know the pros and cons based on your needs and um you know your decision for your own family so if you have any questions or comments about this video please comment below reach out by email text or call and i'd be happy to hear from you in any way please do me a favor if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and if you want to hear more videos from me just hit that subscribe and notification button thanks so much for tuning in and take care